Democrats want to tax billionaires on their unrealized gains. Why? Because they believe billionaires they don't pay their fair share in taxes. Even Senator Elizabeth said, raising the rate is not going to cause Jeff Bezos to pay a penny more. What we need is a tax that focuses on the wealth of the richest Americans. I mean, this is insane. Let me give you an example. My current net worth is zero. I own nothing. I just have this painting. But there's something you missed on this painting. This painting is signed by Leonardo da Vinci. So I post this on the internet and art collectors started to bid high. Even someone said, I'm willing to pay $100 million for this. Now, because I own this painting, my net worth is $100 million. But the problem is that I still did not sell anything. So I don't have any cash in hand. But with this new taxing law, they consider that I made $100 million. And I need to pay my fair share in taxes. But how I'm going to pay if I don't have any cash in hand? I just tear this painting off, give 20% to IRS and I take the 80%. No, I regret tearing my 100 million painting. I lost 100 million. So it's the same thing for the wealth of these billionaires like Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. This wealth usually comes from the stock market and mainly from the companies. Let's take the example of Tesla. Elon Musk owns 20.7% of Tesla. The current market cap of Tesla is $1.21 trillion. So 20.7% of that is around $250 billion. And last month, Tesla's price increased by 55%. But the main problem here is that even if the wealth of Elon Musk increased by 84 billion, he did not sell any shares for a profit. Tesla can drop 20% tomorrow and lose those unrealized gains. So how it is even possible to tax those unrealized gains? Elon Musk went crazy on Twitter yesterday. He said, much is made lately on unrealized gains. So I propose selling 10% of my Tesla stock. And he said, I will abide by the result of this poll, whichever way it goes. I mean, this is insane. Imagine taking a 25 billion decision based on a Twitter poll. We made a small interview with someone by the end of the video. We're going to explain this whole drama. This will probably take down the shares of Tesla on Monday. Not because he's selling, but because usually investors sell their shares when there's uncertainty in the market. But we can't blame Elon Musk because he said, I do not take a cash salary or bonus from anywhere. I only have stock. The only way for me to pay taxes personally is to sell stock. I mean, that's true from where he's going to pay those unrealized gains if he doesn't have that much cash in hand. This is why Trump was perfect for the economy. He was a businessman. He knows how a business works. He even lowered some tax rates to boost the economy so people can reinvest those profits. Don't understand me wrong. I don't support any political party. I'm just providing facts. Unfortunately, most of US population are with President Biden on this because they feel it's unfair for billionaires they pay less tax percentage than them. This is literally what's written. While the idea to get billionaires to pay more of their fair share in taxes seem to get a lot of popular support from the public. Those guys literally worked all their lives to create great companies with great services. And they employ millions of people. Amazon have 1.3 million employees. Apple 147,000 employees. Tesla around 70,000. Walmart 2.3 million employees. So there are millions of people living from those companies. Which is great for the economy. When job reports are good, usually the market goes up. And when unemployment rate is high, the market goes down. So why should you force a billionaire to sell their shares to pay taxes on profits they did not even realize? And this is clear they are only targeting billionaires. Because this will be taxed only for US taxpayers with over $1 billion in assets or $100 million in income for three consecutive years. So this won't affect me or any other regular citizen. If I have a position which is in $1 million in unrealized gains, I don't pay any taxes. I'm just dreaming. But with this, they are really trying to get people on their side because the significant percentage of the population are with the idea of taxing billionaires. Because with the current system, billionaires, they don't pay a lot of taxes because most of their gains 
are from unrealized gains and even if they have profited there's lot of expenses which can cover those profits i mean they are billionaires for a reason they have lot of accountants and and they know how to minimize tax and in this unfortunately the numbers of people have a huge effect 700 billionaires won't affect anything in the voting system but if the significant population are with the idea this will definitely help them later in the votings even many many years back president biden said i don't support any kind of gay marriage now because that's a trend and he needs to attract more people he said yeah i'm totally okay with that unfortunately that's how politics works if they are going to tax unrealized gains they should reduce taxes from unrealized losses because in short term stocks can go down and if you can't reduce taxes from that loss that's totally unfair i call this robbery not taxing unrealized gains. I believe this tweet from Elon Musk will cause Tesla to drop on Monday because his tweets have a huge effect on Tesla's stock price. But I kind of feel bad for him because this guy worked all his life, he was going bankrupt many times, he worked his ass off, he's not even taking a salary from its own company and now he's forced to sell his shares to pay taxes on he did not even make. Of course if they pass this law, which I don't think it will happen because it's impossible it's illogical so that's why i believe this will cause the market to drop on monday because any big investor would agree that this is insane so now we're going to do a quick interview with kian which is a good friend of mine i know him from our discord server and we're going to try and explain the drama behind this elon musk's tweets uh so kian we were just talking in discord that the unrealized gains tax on the stock but you mentioned that there's the options part too. Can you explain that part? Yeah, sure. You know, um, as we all know, you know, Elon did the post on Twitter about selling 10% of his stock, right? And um, I think that, you know, he was going to sell anyway. So um, because of this option issue, but let's look at it um, from just what he's selling now. So he will be selling about 17 million shares and that's about 20 billion based on the Friday closing price of about 1,200 per share. Yes. So from that sale loan, um, he would have to pay, pay about $5 billion um, dollars in tax for his, his capital gain, okay? Um, this, is, this is for the shares that he has, he has sold. But actually, he has a bigger tax bill of about $15 billion, And that's actually coming next year. Because as you know, he gets paid in stock options, okay? He doesn't take a salary. And he has these options that is actually expiring, well, not expiring, that he has to exercise next year. And when he exercised those options, he would have to pay about 15 billion of taxes on his gain. So I think he has no choice. You know, he has to sell these shares to actually pay for the option that he's going to exercise next year. Because the problem is that he doesn't have another source of income. He doesn't take yeah. any salary so, from Tesla. It's just the Tesla stock. Yes, he has no salary. He has no other income. I mean, he has. We know that he has borrowed money because he has used his Tesla stock as collateral to borrow money. Exactly. You know? uh, I'm sure he can, he can borrow a lot of money from, from, you know, from his Tesla stock. So he has no choice. He has been selling actually. Uh, every time he exercised his stock option, he sells his Tesla stock to pay for the taxes. So this is not the first time. He has done it before over the last couple of years. Behind the last tweet that he made, I think he's furious about the idea of taxing unrealized gains. That's why he made that. And he wants to prove his point to the people what do you Correct. think because i think i think there is a lot of you know commentary about taxing billionaires at the moment you know even the government is actually looking at a bill to tax the wealthy right so yes. there's a lot of conversation about it right now i think he's doing it to please the people and it's very sneaky because he's gonna do it anyway right but he's just using this now as a platform to say that hey you know, I am going to pay my taxes as a billionaire. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I see. He's, he's trying to be the good guy, but because he's going to do it anyway. He has to do it anyway. So that's, you know, but he's just making a big deal out of it now so that people think that, oh, he's actually one of the good billionaires that's going to pay his taxes. <laughs> yeah, but if I was his place, I would do the same thing because what I believe that it's totally unfair taxing unrealized gains. Like I just, I was yeah. just giving an example in, in the video that i'm going to upload yep. that if i have a painting in home and the value is zero i have nothing yep. else in my home i just have this painting yep. suddenly i said that this painting was signed by leonardo da vinci 
I post on internet yeah. and suddenly everyone sees the, this painting and it bids up to $100 million. Now my net worth is yeah. $100 million, but how, how I'm going to pay my tax if I don't have any cash in hand? I just tear the, pay, the painting off, give 20% to IRS. That's not logical. Yeah. Like, how will that work? That's really... Yeah, but I, I don't think that is going to happen. It will not happen. It, no, it will not get passed as a, as a law, you know. So, but in his, this situation, he's being taxed once he sell or once he's exercised his option. Because once he's exercised his option, he's realizing the gain, you know, and it's fair exactly. for him to pay the taxes. Yeah. So, so your point is that the taxes will only apply on the options part, not on the shares. Not on the shares. But when he sells these shares, like that he says he's going to sell the 10%, okay. he will get taxed, of course, because he's realizing the gain, right? Yes. So he'll be paying about $5 billion of taxes. Yes. But the most of it will be on the gains that he's going to get taxed on will be the options that he exercised next year. I understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so nobody is actually taxing him for his unrealized gains, you know, but he has to exercise the option and he has to pay the tax. But he has no money to pay the tax, which is kind of ironic because he's the richest man in the world. <laughs> so in all the <laughs> cases, he's already going to sell the shares to pay his taxes. That's... Yes. He's just making a drama out of it. Yes. Because okay. he has been doing that. Every yeah. time he exercises his top option, he sells his shares. So this is probably the third or fourth time he's doing it already. Okay. Now, just because there's this drama of taxing billionaires and everything, yeah. he made this big deal out of it. <laughs> I understand yes, better because now. He, he is also now the richest man in the world, right? Yes. So he has to, you know, he wants to look good, right? He doesn't want to be the evil billionaire. He wants to be one of the good guys. <laughs> it's it's hundred percent drama, and but but we all think that short term it will it will affect the stock price for sure. We're both short actually, and yeah. Yeah. I, I'm short <laughs> now... Tesla. Kian, by the way, Kian is. Uh, heavy tesla investor but at this point we just want to make money yes we like tesla but the short-term volatility let's go we're going to use the short-term volatility and hopefully it drops so we can make money out of the short yeah so let's see you know um i think short term it will drop and let's say let's hope it drop to a point that we can buy the dip and then you know ride it back up again so yes hopefully that's Fingers what crossed. i'm planning to <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, thank you, Kian. Thank you for the small talk. No problem. Uh, see you yeah. again in Discord. <laughs> All right, catch you later when market open. Uh, okay, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. I just came back home from university and I wanted to check the price action of Tesla. Tesla, it was down 7% and currently it's going up and down between 5 and 7%. So you can see the current price is 1150